We are inspired by all things vegetarian today, Graham, and Caitlin and I are going to be choosing some vegetables because with a change of seasons, we're going to be using vegetables in a different way than we did in summer because we're going to be making soups and hearty casseroles and, and things like that. So it's really important to know how to choose vegetables and what to look out for when choosing that. And of course, our chef and food stylist, Caitlin, is here good to morning. show us exactly what we need to do. Good morning, Caitlin. How morning. are you? I'm good. Good, good. So I see a whole array of vegetables yes. here. You need to take us through what we need to look out for when choosing vegetables. Okay. So we're going to be doing a little shopping today. Yeah, a little basket for um, Rade. We're going to be making a rustic vegetable pie after the break. Okay. So um, we're just going to choose some vegetables for that. All right. Um, and I know it's, it's quite intimidating when you walk into a supermarket. There's so much, you, you know, you're overloaded with so many choices. Yes. Like, where do you begin? Yeah. Um, but now with the change of seasons, obviously there's a lot of seasonal vegetables mm -hmm. coming in. And it's always better to buy in season yeah. because the flavor is better. There's more nutrients um, in the veggies. Great. And so at the moment, uh, we've got Potatoes are in season, sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. all the really hearty autumn kind of yes, veg. Yes. So we've got leeks, celery, nice. turnips, all of those. For great um, soups and things like that. Exactly, yeah. And um, yeah, like I said, season is very important. Mm -hmm. Also um, buying imported versus local ingredients. Right. So if you're going to go and buy cherries in the middle of winter, you're going to know that they've come from somewhere else. Yes. So they've been flown in. Yes. It's expensive, mm -hmm. obviously air miles, you know, your carbon footprint and all yeah. of that. But they're also going to taste different. Okay. So yeah. Now, now so when I go vegetable, shopping I usually think that bigger is better like the bigger the vegetable the more I'm getting for my money is that is that the truth not always so when it comes to courgettes which we're going to use in the next recipe yeah um you, you see this this is a slightly larger courgette, courgette and this is a smaller so you would buy this one I right? would buy the big one yes but these are actually have a lot more flavor in wow. because the larger courgettes have a lot of water in them that's why food, that's why my food is so bland <laughs> Okay, cool. The smaller courgette yes. is what you want to go for. So right. we would choose these far recipe. Okay, great stuff. And also, um, you have to bear in mind that if you buy a huge butternut yeah. and you're a family of maybe two, yeah. there's going to be a lot of wastage. Waste so rather one, buy one. a smaller one mm -hmm. that you're going to use all of it, unless you're planning on cooking and eating butternut for the whole week. Okay, and what about um, choosing vegetables that are lower in price? Yeah, so that also depends. I would then suggest if you're going to opt to buy vegetables that are on, on special or sale, yeah, yeah. then preserve them. Okay. So maybe make, if this if um, tomatoes are on special, yeah. buy a lot and then make maybe a jam. Right. Or otherwise, rather opt for, like I said, if you're not planning on, on using them all, it's just going to be a waste and there's, okay. there's no point in that. And we money. don't want to do that, no. definitely not. <laughs> well, after the break, Caitlin and I are making a rustic vegetable pie, which I'm sure is going to be very delicious. We're picking out our vegetables. So we'll show you exactly what you need to be using for this recipe after the break. By supporting the Hood Sprite Endangered Species Center, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you. We found goodness in Goed Gedacht Olive Oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay, always there for you. Welcome back to our Espresso Kitchen this morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Before the break, Caitlin and I talked about picking the right vegetables and how to choose vegetables. And now that we've picked and chosen them, we are going to be making a rustic vegetable pie. I hand it over to the expert. <laughs> how are we going to make our rustic vegetable pie this morning, Kate? So, so we've given you some great tips. So yes. now, you know, when you come home from Pick and Pay, you know which ones, you know, which vegetables that you should have chosen. There you so have we've it. got um, our basket of beautiful fresh ingredients. Um, we're going to be making a rusty, rustic vegetable pie. Yeah. And it's from this week's Sunday Times Food Weekly. Okay. So it's Hillary's recipe. Nice. Thank you, and, Hillary. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and it's a great recipe. And you start off with um, the roasted veggies. Mm -hmm. So um, what, have, what we've got here are some courgettes, the small ones. Always nice. As we mentioned. In uh, roasted veggies. Yes. And then um, some mushrooms in there. And I mean, this is, this is quite, you can tailor it to your own taste. I mean, yeah. you can leave out mushrooms if you don't like. Some butternuts, because we okay. mentioned that it's in season. So Alrighty. it's beautiful and sweet now. And some tomatoes. Some tomatoes. I love there. using the little cherry tomatoes. I know, they are yummy. They're very sweet as well. And some onion, obviously, for flavor. There you go. And um, I don't know, roast, roast veggies, they came to just, sort of just popped into our life. I yeah. think Jamie Oliver was responsible for that. And I remember as a kid, 
him making roast veggies for the first time and then it kind of became such a big thing. Now everybody does it. Because and you can't imagine life without them. For the first time, vegetables are actually tasty once you've roasted them and you've put your spices on them. Like, exactly. I love roasted vegetables. That's actually the only way that I eat them, actually. Yeah, and um, you know, they're so great because you can, I mean, I put thyme in here, you can yeah. put rosemary in. I sometimes just bang the whole clove of garlic in there, unpeeled, and then I squish it out, to, I squish it out when it's roasted. Okay, that's an interesting one. Pepper. And the trick is to always put it in a single layer in your roasting yes. dish. Don't overload it because okay. then it's not going to caramelize. All right, we don't want so that's going to go in the oven. Okay, Please. we're going to pop that one in the oven. And then over here we've got the pastry. And this is such an easy pastry recipe. It's just self-raising flour. Yeah. That's going to go in a bowl. And here we've got some whole wheat flour for a little bit of bran and extra fibre. Okay, so in there you've got flour and whole wheat flour. Yes, and we've right. got a bit of salt, so that's going to go in there. And then we've got water and oil, so cold water, that helps to prevent the gluten from forming in the pastry. Okay. And then olive oil, just for some extra healthy kick. Oh, this is so much fun. And then just we're just stirring it just to break up the, sort of little, uh, emulsify it a little bit, you yeah. know, because you don't yeah. want to just add it all in. Okay. And then stir. You want to carry on for me? I will throw that in there. If you would like the recipe for our rustic vegetable pie this morning, all you have to do is SMS the word pie, that's P-I-E, to 33728 and we'll gladly send you the recipe, your pick and pay shopping list and the link to the recipe as well. Throw that all in there and our... And this has to be the pastry best pastry there. recipe. I'm going to steal it for really? my own collection because you don't need to worry. Remember I told you about, once about pastry, you know, it mustn't yes. fiddle with it too much. And there, there's sometimes r tricks for rolling out to prevent it from being overworked. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this is just mix it. Oh, just, this is just this rustic. Is it. It's this like just, it. you know, get this, in there. This is our pastry already like done. And then uh, we've got some roast veggies already done here. Okay. And we don't even need to worry, up, worry too much about, you know, making it all fancy. I'm going to swap over to That's a baby. That's the beautiful thing about the word baby. rustic. Hey. Yeah, and with autumn, you know, you want, you want things a little bit rustic. And, you do. You and it do. looks, it almost looks like it comes out of a food magazine or it's just, it's just like it's had a, a food stylist's hands could all over it. Could be something that you could maybe just pop on the braai as well? You could try. You could try? Yeah, like, give it a go. Knows, it might have that variation to it. I would keep it on a baking tray though and then pop a lid on it. Oh, okay. So we've got the roast veggies here. Yeah, These are just going to go veggie. in the middle. You can put some pesto on here as well. Yummy, yummy. That would also be amazing. Some feta. Also, again, you could put roast, um, <gasps> sorry, um, ghost cheese on it, or you could sprinkle nuts over here. Beautiful. Olives, that would be amazing as well. And then we're just going to fold over the edges to keep it. Look how easy this recipe is. This is and amazing. this is really impressive. I mean, if you've got friends coming over this weekend and the weather's a little bit cold and chilly, yeah. this with a, a lovely salad this would make a great starter gorgeous. or a snack. And then that goes in the oven at 180 degrees for yeah. about 15, 20 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. And voila! Is that it? Voila! That is it. And look at our beautiful rustic vegetable pie this morning. It is per perfection, I must say. Thank you. Well done, Miss Kate. We've made ours fancy, but with some um, sesame seeds, you can do that. A little bit of egg wash. Yeah. Well, it looks absolutely good. amazing. I think it's so great, hey? Really, really good. I sh I'm sure that you absolutely love it. If you would like the ingredients list one more time for our rustic vegetable pie, all you have to do is SMS the word pie to 33728 and we'll gladly send you your pick and pay shopping list and, of course, the link to the recipe as well. But now the two of us, of course, spent an amazing few days in the Seychelles yes. and we want to give you the opportunity to experience the breathtaking beauty of the Seychelles like we did. All you have to do is SMS the keyword win to 33728 because Espresso is giving away a fabulous holiday for two to this tropical island paradise. The prize includes return flights from Johannesburg courtesy of Air Seychelles with four nights accommoda accommodation at the five-star Constance Ophelia Resort. It is incredible. I promise you, oh, you're going so to beautiful. love it. Your stay at the hotel includes dinner, bed and breakfast, as well as a relaxing spa treatment and airport transfers. You'll also get to go on so many of the amazing adventures that Caitlin and I enjoyed, courtesy of Seychelles Tourism Board. Does that sound exciting? 
Oh, that Do was a once in excited? a lifetime trip that day. Wow, we had so oh, much fun. I want to go back all over again. <laughs> well, while we just reminisce <laughs> about days gone by on our amazing Seychelles trip, here's the keyword once again. SMS the word PI to 3378. We'll gladly send you the pick and pay shopping list and the link to the recipe, and you could be making this delicious rustic vegetable pie for dinner tonight at Tikka's under five minutes. It's that easy and healthy and delicious all at the same time. But it is time to go over to our car experts. Gavin Chiro are in the house. Graham, over to you.